and invited me to be a lecturer for the Tombaugh uh, Club meeting. And I checked the list of previous lecturers, and it's an impressive list of people and a lot of interesting subjects. I'm honored to have the opportunity to be a presenter and be added to the list of the Tombaugh lecture series. So I'm going to dive into the partial phase phenomena now. And these are all the things that are related to the sun being slowly covered by the moon. And some are unique to eclipses. So animal behavior. Now we're going to talk about just basic lighting. This is a Lux curve that I took in 2019 of the Lux at the observing site. So this is pointing towards the observers on the ground, not pointing towards the sun. And you can see the pretty steady decrease in, um, in the Lux. The little bumps here are people kind of walking in front of, of, in front of the monitor. But anyway, we're humans and we know an eclipse is happening, but animals don't know it's happening. They just think it's getting darker, so they start their nighttime behavior. So it's really important at an eclipse to have all your senses going. You have to be aware of your surroundings. One of the easiest animal behaviors, obviously, is, is crickets. If you're in a natural environment, the crickets are going to start to go crazy about 10 or 15 minutes before totality. They were really loud in 2001 in, in Africa because we were in front of an unmoved hayfield. The other thing is be aware of what birds are doing. This is not a picture of the actual birds, but we saw a flock of birds in 2019, about 10 minutes before totality, that obviously looked like they're going somewhere. So if you see a group of birds flying in a direction that looks like has meaning about 10 minutes before totality, just be aware of your surroundings. That's probably not a random behavior. They're probably going to their nighttime spot. Bees were studied extensively during the 2017 eclipse by a lot of universities. Bees used the sun to navigate. So during the eclipse, what happened was the activity at the hive at the hives started to increase right before totality because the bees were sensing the decrease in light and they were trying to get back to the hive. They thought nighttime was coming. And they found that bees that were too far away from the hive to get back in time just landed on the ground. They gave up. They didn't want to fly when the sun was obscured. Another animal uh, behavior that's said to happen is that grazing animals will stop feeding. Not sure about this one. In 2017, at the farm site in Clarksville, there was a bunch of NASA students who monitored 20 milk cows and what they would do during the 2017 eclipse, and they found no real change in their behavior. In 2019, we were actually on an alpaca farm in uh, Argentina, and one of our eclipse observers um, uh, videoed the alpaca and didn't find really any discernible difference in their um, behavior. But I have one of the best animal behavior videos on the internet uh, today, and I encourage you to watch it at this link, but I'll give you the overview. I knew of uh, farm owners in Nashville that lived in the path that had a chicken coop. So before the eclipse, I shipped them a very easy to set up and start video camera. And I just asked them to point it at the video at the at the chicken coop and just run it starting about 20 minutes before totality. And, and they did that for me. They mailed me or they shipped me the video camera back and I looked at it for the first time and I was a little disappointed because, of course, the hypothesis was when it got dark, the chickens would go into the coop, but they didn't. They stayed out. In fact, some chickens came out of the coop. Well, I called the farm owner after I looked at the video and I told her what I, I saw and she was not surprised because she knew the behavior of her chickens. She knows they don't go in immediately after dark. They usually wait about 30 or 40 minutes and go in. But here's the deal. Here's what I didn't know before I looked at the video. The routine on this farm is that after dark, the sun, the lady's son will go out, get, make sure all the chickens are on the chicken coop and close the chicken coop doors so that the chickens are safe from predators at night. And then in the morning, the morning routine at the farm is the sun will go back out, put fresh feed in the chicken feeders and open the doors to the coop. And then the chickens will go out and feed. So the fascinating thing about this eclipse was when the light returned, the chickens went to feed. So they had the cue that it was morning. So they went to eat. And that's even without the doors opening. So just the cue of the lighting come back, coming back made them think it was breakfast time again, which is amazing.